Hello, everyone. Welcome to Inconvenient Truths. I'm your host, Jennifer Zheng. Happy New Year to all of you. I'm kicking off the year with a fresh focus, enhancing the experience for my most valued members and generous dollars. Recognizing that I haven't fully explored this in the past, I'm taking action. This year, my members and donors can expect exclusive shows or early access to releases, ensuring a rewarding benefit for their support. This balance allows me to serve both my members and donors as well as the broader audience. So here's the first members and dollars only early access show, which is my prediction of what could happen in China in 2022, or 2024, sorry. Some Chinese netizens say that if they were to summarize China in 2023 with a single Chinese character, it would be Lan, Rotten. Others suggest Beng, Collapse, or Die, Fall, However, the official annual character chosen the official annual character chosen was Zhen Revive, symbolizing revival and upliftment. So, what Chinese character might we predict for China in 2024? In 1997, Gordon Chang, an expert on Chinese issues, wrote a book titled The Coming Collapse of China, predicting that China would collapse by 2011. However, 2011 came and went without such a collapse. In 2017, Chinese scholars He Qinlian and Chen Xiaolong co-authored China, Crumbling but Not Collapsing, 中国崩而不溃, predicting that China would maintain a state of crumbling but not collapsing over the next 20 10 to 20 years. According to their forecast, China is still in this, in this era of crumbling but not collapsing. Perhaps the, even the smartest scholars cannot predi precisely predict the future. However, when cancer cells have spread to the skin surface to the extent that they are visible to the naked eye, even a person with no medical knowledge can conclude that the patient's end is near. The Chinese communist regime and society are exactly at this stage currently. Over the past 40 plus years, China has indeed experienced astonishing economic growth and the people have gradually come to see the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, as a formidable force. However, in 2023, the accumulation of long-standing problems has finally surfaced, becoming visible to the naked eye. Politically, Xi Jinping took a decade to consolidate power, successfully breaking term limits to enter a lifetime rule model, eliminating all other factions within the party to become the sole authority. Unexpectedly, after eliminating all other factions, she started targeting his own appointees, leading, leading to unprecedented events in Chinese politics, the sudden and unexplained disappearance of the ministers of the two most important government departments, foreign affairs and defense, with only five state councillors, two positions remain unfilled to this day. The scale of purges in the military is also unprecedented, with over 70 high-ranking officials in the rocket force alone being purged. Economically, Ban the end of three years of severe lockdowns did not bring the so-called revenge rebound. Instead, bad news keeps emerging from the real estate market, banking sector, local government debts, and the stock market. Supply chains, foreign and even domestic capital are steadily withdrawing from China.
For the general public, and especially the youth, downgrading consumption, relying on parents lying flat, not getting married, not buying houses or cars, and not having children have become new trends. Diplomatically, Various international alliances against the CCP are forming one after another. The Sino-US diplomacy was considered a ballast stone by the CCP, has not been able to return to its former state since the spine balloon incident earlier in this year. What's most alarming is, is that Xi Jinping's reckless actions in various fields have finally made almost everyone realize if China continues like this, there's no hope left. At the end of 2023, what the Chinese society faces is exactly such a catastrophic situation. So what will happen in 2024? Politically, the most uncertain factor is whether the massive purges Xi Jinping has carried out in the military and within the CCP will eventually trigger inter internal rebellion, where Xi Jinping, who feels assassination most, actually faces an unexpected fate. This could be the biggest biggest black swan event that Chinese society might face. Economically, it's, most, it's, it's almost certain that the real estate market will experience an even more severe downturn than in 2023. The collapses in 2023 were many insolvent real estate companies and some financial products managed by these companies. However, housing prices haven't fallen sharply. Oh, in other words, housing prices in the so-called first-tier city, cities such as Beijing and Shanghai somehow managed to hold up until the end of the year before starting to decline. However, next, however, in 2022, a potential collapse in housing prices could impact nearly all homeowners, given that 70% of Chinese households' assets are tied up to the real estate market. A drop in housing prices means a shrinkage in personal assets. Banks will force non holders to pay more margin, and many will have to give, and give up on continuing mortgage payments, expanding the crisis to the banking sector. A local government fiscal crisis is also almost certain to occur. If the central government deals with the crisis by printing money, it would trigger severe inflation. If it allows local governments to go bankrupt, the ensuing social unrest is hard to imagine. Another foreseeable outcome is widespread unemployment. As I've talked about in a recent article based on official data, a 10% economic downturn could leave up to 126 million people unemployed, and the government will definitely have no relief measures. The development and the worsening of the epidemic is another highly likely event. Since the new wave began in September 2023, it has caused widespread outbreaks in China, with some children's hospitals seeing patients patient numbers 10 times than usual. In some areas, people report that criminal crematoriums are again overwhelmed as they were as they were at the end of last of 2022 and early in 2023 when lockdowns were suddenly lifted 
However, due to the CCP's usual cover-up tactics, most people are unaware of the real situation of virus transmission and cannot take proper precautions. Coupled with the poor quality of vaccines, the epidemic getting out of control again is a very likely scenario. Militarily, 2024 was originally a crucial window for the CCP's so-called reunification with Taiwan. Taiwan's election results were determine the CCP's reunification approach, whether to use force or achieve it without fighting. If they choose to use force, the social turmoil and division that may occur after the U.S. elections could be the CCP's crucial window, as it would mean a reduced political will in the U.S. to intervene in external affairs. However, rapid economic decline, top-secret information leaks, and a huge purges in the rocket force, loyalty issues in the military, and a reluctance, reluctance to fight may force Xi Jinping to postpone an attack on Taiwan. On the other hand, the social unrest and massive unemployment caused by economic downturns may push Xi Jinping to urgently wage war to divert domestic crisis and resolve financial, political, and social crises using a state of emergency brought on by war. Therefore, he might choose to start a small-scale and more controllable war in the South China Sea or the Sankaku Islands area where there are ter territory disputes with Japan. When there is no other way to resolve crisis, war might be the only option, especially since Xi Jinping indeed has the grand ambition of reunifying Taiwan during his term and reshaping the world map alongside Putin. In short, in 2024, China will undoubtedly face a larger scale of various collapses and deteriorations. How the public will respond to survival difficulties or even crisis, whether they will continue to endure indefinitely or rise up in some form of resistance remains unknown. While some believe China's crumbling without collapsing state will persist for many years, others think that a brittle fracture or an um, Avalanche like sudden collapse in such mass in such a massive system is always possible. That is to say, as an ancient Chinese saying goes, even if the CCP avoids the crisis on the first day of the month, the in inevitable will still come on the 15th day. Well, that's all for today. Once again, Happy New Year. If you feel like signing up for a membership or making a donation, please visit my website at jenniferzongblog.com, jenniferzongblog.com. Otherwise, please help me spread the word by subscribing to my channel or sharing my videos. Thank you. See you next time.